Our donors come from, from all walks of life. Some donors are doctors or other healthcare professionals that remember their own experiences in the anatomy lab, the profound effect that that experience had on them for the rest of their careers and their lives, and decide that they want to be a part of shaping that experience and contributing to that for the next generation of doctors and healthcare professionals. Some of our donors are people that have struggled with chronic medical conditions and feel like this is an opportunity for them to help other people who are struggling with the same or different conditions. Some people just feel like body donation makes sense to them. It's an alternative to traditional funeral service and it's a way for them to feel like they're, they're contributing one final way. Over the last century, century and a half, we really have been a society that is not comfortable with dealing with death and dying. That happens somewhere else. And I think that that's beginning to change. I think the population is getting older and they're beginning to think about these things. And what I'm seeing is growth in our program that has been unprecedented. It helps new medical students and new healthcare professionals with the very foundations upon which the rest of their knowledge will be built. And without it, the advances that we have, that we've seen over the past century, half century, could not have happened. They would not exist. And so though this is not directly contributing to a specific life saved, uh, it's contributing to uh, amazing advances in healthcare, which will save millions of lives, which have saved millions of lives.